Welcome to the breakdown where we break down the most messed up movies. But hold up, before we start, pick up your glass. We gotta make a toast. We are in the post a Serbian film era and we still got plenty more bucket of fuck films to look through, along with comics. So here is another busy year on the channel. Okay. <laughs> All right, so today we are checking out Necromantic, a film about a sick couple who love to mess with remains. Pretty gross movie, and surely one you will see on a lot of lists, but if you want to see what happens, including all the messed up parts, stay tuned for the breakdown. Get out here, Gohan. Necromantic starts off with a female human pissing on the side of the road. Looks like her and her man are on a trip, but they ain't got no idea where they going. The man thinks it's a good idea to look at a map while driving, instead of when his wife was out peeing. And as a result, they collide head on into some structure. They ain't gonna be in Necromantic too. And we see why in the morning. Just look, the husband is all broken and the wife got cut in half. When I was in high school, I was in a health class and usually the school would have paramedic people come in and show us gruesome pictures of dead bodies after car wrecks. I guess in an attempt to get us to really drive safe. Have y'all schools ever done something like that? Anyway, a bunch of trauma scene cleaners come to collect all the gross remains of that couple, but one of the employees, Rob, is getting more out of the job than just a hefty check. Eyeballs are getting grabbed out and shit, but Rob isn't so well liked. He's a weirdo, and this manager complains about Rob to the main boss. Rob ain't caring too much about anything but to get back home and get to his nasty collection of body parts. He brings out a jar and puts in the eyeball he collected. He got another jar on the standby for this organ. While he is studying his meat, his girlfriend named Betty comes to also admire the gross body parts too. Next, we see Betty taking a bloody bath, which is sort of giving me Richard Chase vibes for some reason. While she's getting all bloodied up, Rob is daydreaming about phobias and rabbit killing. Won't show it because most people don't seem capable of watching small animals get butchered, but after a shot of some autopsy and the skin rabbit, we cut to a seemingly unrelated scene. A man just chilling in the yard with a rifle is watching as another man is picking fruits. The drunk idiot want to shoot at some birds, but accidentally kills the gardener. With no other choice, he decides to hide that body somewhere. After that randomness, Rob is back at work recovering a very decomposed body. Perhaps that is the gardener after some time, but regardless, Rob is left to take the body somewhere. Instead of the place he was supposed to take it, he brings that gross body back home, calling it a present for his gross ass girlfriend. The couple then even play in bed with the body and give the corpse a metal pipe to serve as a you know what. What comes next is the most twisted threesome I've ever seen. Hope y'all wasn't eating, but y'all know better if y'all were. After they get done getting all sexy with the body, the corpse is seen hanging up, right behind the couple eating meat and smiling all satisfied. Ain't nothing to smile about here. After doing that nasty ass shit, they need to be quarantined. The next day, Rob comes to work late and for being late in addition to all the other various reasons nobody liked him there he is terminated by his superior he goes home telling betty he got fired but since he acting like a straight up wimp pussy she emasculates him and tells him straight up i'll leave you for money since he got fired and was wimpy about it betty decides to write a breakup letter telling him see you later and i'm taking the body with me angry as hell rob lets out this cute little pussy cat playing with it and feeding it some human remains. It don't even get a bite in though, and he snatches the kitty and puts it in a trash bag, swinging that bag violently on any surface he can find. He later bathes as the dead cat sits above him. That ain't even the worst of it, because he grabs some of the cat's entrails to rub it all over. That was his real bath, I guess. After all that, he hits up the movie theater, buying a ticket and some beer. Dang, do they let y'all drink beer overseas in movie theaters? He watches the wackest horror movie ever, but the ending of the film scares him into leaving. Probably would for me too, because them characters were screaming like this. 
At home, he sits on the bed getting drunk, but he also tries to kill himself by ingesting a lot of pills. It makes him drift off, imagining himself in a trash bag and partly decayed, but then some random ass woman comes with a box. In the box is the head of a corpse, an invitation to come forward with her and dance around in the grass. He wakes up later though, so looks like he didn't get the death he wanted. He leaves the house to find himself a prostitute, but the place he takes her is the cemetery to have sex. Okay, well, they get to the sex, which is super awkward because he can't get hard. When she laughs at him, he starts strangling her to death. Sounds like something a certain Russian serial killer would do. After she is dead, he decides to have sex with the corpse. He sleeps there all night, only to be scared and awakened by some old ass man. In response, he grabs a shovel and beheads the man. Okay. After that, he gets on running, eventually situating and playing with insects and shit, running like a pothead on a weed farm. After that dreamy sequence, he is ready to actually kill himself. He grabs a knife and stabs himself right in the torso. While he does it, he is ejaculating heavily and almost comically. And you know, it switches the blood, kind of like Antichrist. Basically, he found an intense orgasm in his own death. The movie ends as presumably some time passes and he is buried, but looks like his funeral got a pretty belated visitor. Could it be Betty? Hmm. We'll have to see on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> hey, y'all like my little GTA, uh, GTA Online rank screen? It's definitely a gross movie we just got into, but y'all gotta let me know if y'all wanna see the sequel to this movie. So, dead sex done. But now, Let's talk about the most disturbing moment and most enjoyed moment and that spooky stuff. Cue to Gohan. I can't do anything but get into it. The most disturbing moment is probably, I guess, the threesome part. It was pretty gross to see how much they loved that damn corpse. The most enjoyed moment was probably credits again. Not much I can really smile at unless you count those weird dream sequences or the prostitute scene. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you click the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. You might like what we got going on over here. On the left is some random, but on the right is a Serbian film. It's a pretty crazy movie, but click if you think you can handle it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Spooky out.